News Channel at 6. Tonight we're looking into shootings in New Iberia after the launch of the New Iberia City Police Department. This after police made two arrests in an October shooting. Information about that shooting wasn't released until yesterday. Dylan White is booked on a first degree murder charge in connection with the November 6th shooting on Lee Street. He surrendered to police this morning. Officers arrested a second person, Anthony Taylor, yesterday. Those arrests got us thinking. How many shootings have happened since the department's launch in July? And what does the public think about the department's work so far? Our Josh Minnie is getting answers. I think crime is down. Uh, however, I do think there's po pockets of gun violence that's still happening that may be remnants of whatever was happening before the police department came into existence. City Councilman Marlon Lewis represents the West End neighborhood. That area of town has a reputation for violence, but Lewis says increased patrols are making a difference. Before we had our New Iberia City Police Department, there were rashes and rashes of shooting. People were shooting guns in air, people were shooting guns just for fun. We don't get a lot of that. We asked Police Captain John Babin for statistics about shootings in the city since they went on patrol in July. He told us the department doesn't have them. I can't give you specific numbers right now, but uh, we're working hard. Uh, we're reaching out to the community. Uh, every time we come to work, we're looking up at different ways that we can you know, uh, uh, reach out uh, to make a difference. Bevan says the department puts 10 patrol cars on every shift. That staffing, he says, is helping police respond to shooting calls more quickly. You know, I tell the guys, you know, as much as I can, burn gas. Our latest shooting, uh, the shooting occurred, uh, the unit actually heard the shots fired. He was a block away. Within 30 seconds, he was on scene. That has West End residents like Lewis feeling a little more comfortable. Now, they may have a gunshot tonight. But some of it you just can't control. But at the end of the day, I think the presence of our new police department has deterred and made a big difference in our community. In New Iberia, Josh Menny, KTC TV3. Meanwhile, New Iberia.